Hello everybody. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make an A2 border. I'll go to straight to new. Let me repeat that. I'll go to new and choose my AutoCAD uh, ISO WWT template file and open it. I don't like it when the grids are on, so I'm gonna turn them off. Yeah, and this border, you just use it uh, as your title block for your drawings. And I'll also assume that you know what a title block is. So I shall pin 0, 0,0 to start from the origin. Before I do that, let me press escape. I shall go to my layout. And uh, I would want to point out one thing first. Layout, then right click, then setup manager. Modify ISO 594 by 428 to paper. I'm going to use that. I'm going to close this out. And, uh, I'm just going to make temporary dimensions so that I can know uh, what dimensions that I'll be using. Because this dotted line here represents, uh, represents the printable, printable area on this paper from AutoCAD. So I shall key in DI for distance and use this point just right about there. Stretch it all the way to here and that's about 578 millimeters. I'm using millimeters. On the vertical side it's uh, about 379. So I shall escape out and return to my model space. I shall go to my polyline, 0, 0, start from the origin. I shall place, press F8, or you can press this button right here. So, I shall use a width of, width of 1, a starting width of 1, and an ending width of 1. I shall key in, I shall use, I shall key in 577, so 577 space bar, remember that the other one was 578, so I'm just one millimeter off to just make it fit perfectly, the other one I shall use 378, if you can also remember it was 379. So 577 once more and see for close. Double click my roller mouse wheel to zoom the object. Pick the rectangle tool and I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna place my text along the right edge of my paper. So D for, D for distance. I'm gonna start with the X and I'm gonna 88 and in the Y I'm gonna key in 378. I'm gonna place it there. Let me offset it by 3 and erase the source object. So I shall fillet these corners by 3 by a radius of 3. So for fillet right click first, choose polyline, R space buffer radius and then enter value of 3. And then I'm gonna choose that line. You can see it has trimmed out all the four corners at once. I shall pick out my line command just above the center there to that point. Offset it by let's say 30 to the top and to the bottom erase my source object offset it by 30 once more so that 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 so I want to know this remaining distance here so it's 36 so I shall use 12 12 12 three times Offset, use a value of 12, there and there. 
This area will be the one for my general notes. This one will be my revision schedule, and the rest we shall know. We shall just assign them to, uh, figures. Offset is by five. There and there. Offset this. This one when I when I copy of this edge here. So offset that at uh, about ten. Yeah, and I'm gonna only use this line here, so I'm gonna trim out the rest. So trim, I'll pick that edge as my cutting edge, and that also, right click, click, click. Erase that object, copy this one at about uh, 50. Yeah, I think that's okay for me. I'm gonna go to Annotate, Annotate tab, and then I'm gonna press this dialog launcher here, and I'm gonna create a new style. I'm gonna name it General Text, and I'm gonna press OK. I'm gonna choose a font style for it, and I'm gonna choose Eras. I like Eras Light. Apply, close out. I shall pick a multi multi line text for my title block. Select the window right about there. Yeah, we're gonna stretch this a bit. And uh, I'm using general text, so the one that I've just created so General notes, and uh, I shall key maybe a note like sorry, all the dimensions are in millimeters. Another one. Enforcement. So minimum cover to enforcement. B. I shall wanna number this one first. So bullet sting and numbering. Yeah, and, uh, I shall minimize that distance a bit. Press my tab to subset that, and I shall also reduce this one, this distance here. So, foundation, I would want a cover of 50 millimeters for columns, I would want a cover of 40 millimeters and four beams all want to cover of 30 millimeters I shall add another one and say all external walls sorry all external and Internal walls, wall dimensions are two hundred mm and one hundred and fifty mm. The last one, probably, I shall say enforcement detail.
shall correct the spelling of that. You should use engineer. You should use details. Shall highlight this and use my numbering. <coughs> yeah, that's okay for me. Yeah, and I shall space this out. And I shall use a spacing of 1.5. I would want to place this text at the center, so I shall use, I shall go to more, show toolbar, underline it, and uh, place it at the center, and say OK. Yeah, that's my set, my first set of uh, text. The second set, I shall use single line text. And, uh, Click any point of the screen within the box. I shall use a height of 2.5, that's okay for me. And a rotation angle of 0. Yeah. I can release Double tap your enter key to escape out of the command. Right about there is okay for me. I shall copy this one to that one and uh, I shall say that the number copy that text to the center and uh, key in description. Copy the same text once more and key in date. Shall move it a bit. Yeah. I shall copy that text to right about there. Make sure I position it well. So I'm just moving the text. So move command. I'm gonna copy CO copy about that base point and place it there, 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 and uh, right about the center. Okay. Shall move that text once more. And, uh, copy this once more using that that base point there, there. There. Yeah. I shall uh, edit this text. This maybe should be the client. This one is the project name. This one will be the details. And this one will be the probably your company. This shall be the scale. Date. Since my last command was editing a text, we should just pick that text and press the spacebar key. Project number. The last one. Drawing number. Sorry. Yeah. They have your simple title block made within a few minutes and uh, you can the moment you've just made one you can just reproduce it and use it for other drawings so if you have if you have any other question you may comment below and i shall be glad to answer them 
I've used I've just used basic commands AutoCAD to make this. So if you're using a lower version of AutoCAD other than 2015, it should be easy for you to follow along. Yeah, the next video now you're gonna put this border to the layout. Thanks for watching.